New Halloween Detour Fragrances. Let's talk about it. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on, guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today, we're going to be talking about the latest drops from Halloween, these three new Detour Fragrances. Halloween dropped a couple of Detour Fragrances in the year of 2023, I believe, maybe late 2022. They had the Detour Noir and Detour Rouge. Detour Noir, at its time, was like the best Leighton inspired by. I found that it was kind of different. It is definitely a twist, but... It a refreshing twist, if you will. I personally didn't find it to be the best one, but still a lot of people enjoyed it. I enjoyed it myself, and I actually rocked quite a bit of that. Detour Rouge was another one that they released, but there wasn't really anything spectacular about it for me to recommend. Now they release these two, or these three new fragrances. There's Detour Intense Noir, then there is, or new Noir Intense, Detour Eco, or Echo, and then Detour Exclusive Noir. Long story short, these are all inspired by certain fragrances, and you can find the inspirations written down on a lot of websites, particularly. And a lot of these inspos, I found a couple of the inspirations written down on some websites. So we know what they're going to be inspired by, but how close and are they actually? That's a whole different story. The first one I want to talk to you guys about is called Detour Noir Intense. Detour Noir Intense is Pegasus exclusive. It's actually a really good Pegasus exclusive. What makes me say that it's really good is the fact that the quality in this one shines greatly. First things first though, the presentation on these have come a long way since the last one. It still has this relatively cheaper uh, top part to it the cap is still that same plastic and the snap-on is weird and all of that was still the case yeah it's, it's really weird <laughs> shape you can't even hold this thing right but I will say the atomizers next level next level stuff right here and the scent profile is really good it definitely came a long way you can tell from the scent profile as well that the uh, ingredient quality has improved from detour noir detour noir opened up a little bit mentholated a little bit of alcohol like, uh, as well still a great fragrance but this one was virtually no alcohol it smells like Pegasus Exclusive, slightly soapy, and not as spicy. It's a really good interpretation of Pegasus Exclusive. You get that almond nuance, some of those spice, and I get like a, a slight soapy nuance underneath it all. I'm not very particular towards the whole Pegasus DNA, but if you are, you're going to absolutely love this one. The one prior to this I found to be a really good inspo of Pegasus. The original was Armoff Craze and Perseus by Mason Alhambra. This one is definitely sexier. Detour Noir Intense. I think it's probably one of the best. It, it is the best. The best Pegasus Exclusive. Uh, inspo on the market today. Great quality smelling off the top. I don't know exactly what it's going to dry down to, but I can confirm that it is Pegasus Exclusive. Next one is going to be Detour Eco or Echo. Detour Echo is inspired by Haltain, and you're going to get exactly that. Haltain smells like Edicio's Oud for Greatness, except it adds a lot more of this praline and a bit more of this uh, concentrated patchouli and earthy nuance. And that's what you're going to get with this one, except it doesn't really focus too much on that earthy nuance. It more so focuses around on the praline. So a sweeter version of something like Haltain and a little bit more of a twist in my opinion, which is pretty refreshing. Long story short, it's an excellent fragrance. Saffron Oud, a little earthy and more so around this praline nuance. Relatively unisex in my opinion as well, but I find this one to be so sexy. The fragrance starts off clean right from the top. You're not going to get much alcohol, which is a long way from that Detour Noir, the original one. This smells really good. I have to give it to them. This one smells really good. It's just like I said, it's a bit lighter in the scent profile or DNA. It's not going to be as rich as the original one. And for that reason, I'd give this about an 80, 85. I would say about 85%. It's more of a twist, a lighter take on it, an easier version to wear. I don't think it's not gonna perform. I just think it's lighter because of the fact that it doesn't do the patchouli or earthy nuance as deep or as rich. And for that, it makes it a bit more unisex and I think it's going to project a little bit more. These are all just speculations. It's a first impression. I haven't rocked it yet, but so far in the air, saffron, oud, uh, I get slight bits of patchouli, but not going to be as dense or as rich as the original. Still a fantastic option. One of the best right there next to Hartnell, which is relatively harder to find sometimes. If you can't find Hartnell, then you have this uh, Echo to go with. And even then, uh, the Hartnell does the richness of the patchouli a little bit better than this one, but this one does the whole saffron and praline a little bit denser. So they are a little different. They are definitely a little bit different. More of a twist and it's an excellent twist. I personally really, really like this one. If I had to pick between the Noir Intense and the Echo, the Echo, the, the, both of them don't smell cheap at all, but the Echo smells expensive, just period expensive. Last but not least is gonna be Detour Exclusive Noir. Detour Exclusive Noir is supposed to be inspired by Leighton Exclusive. So as you can see by the color suggestions, etc., it's supposed to be uh, inspired by the Exclusive. However, this 
is much, much more of a twist than an actual clone of it. I find this one to be like 80% at the most. And it's going to be because of the opening of this fragrance. I get a little bit more of like this uh, fresher, aromatic, slightly carbonated opening with this one than I do with this Leighton Exclusive. Hadamain goes towards like this slightly fresher, carbonated, aromatic top. Whereas the Leighton Exclusive, although it does have a fresher, aromatic opening, quickly starts to develop this warmer amber, some sweetness, and those woods that starts to creep up along with that geranium and whole mentholated vibe. It's much more tame in this fragrance, the mentholated vibe in general, but personally for me, I find it to be extremely sexy. A lot more of a woody, creamy fragrance. The Detour fragrance is also creamy in nature, but like I said, it's just holding on to that top in the opening far longer than something of latent exclusive. And it's that exact reason that I find these to be more of twists of each other. This holds on to the top and I think it's gonna hold on to it for a very long time. Whereas the top of this one dries off within the first two minutes and you start to get those creeping notes and other nuances of the mid and the base. The Hadamain version captures the top. The effervescence, that sparkling carbonated vibe doesn't really dissipate for a long time. It doesn't get warmer, richer, or creamier in the woods nature, although it does have some creamy vibes that focuses more so around the freshness of the fragrance. While this one starts to get creamy in the woody nature of things, almost like sandalwood, the Loatian Oud, etc. So yes, it's going to remind you slightly of it because it just holds on to the opening and that's it. So not a bad take on letting it Exclusive. If you want like the easier to wear version, this would be it. But if you want like the mid base, the creamy nature of those Loatian Oud, this is not really going to get you to that point, at least now with this first impression and the opening. Much more of an inspired by for those top notes, emphasizing those top notes than anything of this creamy, woody uh, dry down. So more of an inspiration in that regards. It's going to be 75 to 80% close. Uh, I would just call this more so of a twist. Still not a bad fragrance by any means. Out of all of these, the Echo is my favorite one. The uh, Intense Noir is also excellent. All three of these are honestly really good fragrances. I picked all of these up from benideafragrance.com. You can use my code Aromatics to save you some money and check these out for yourself. That sums up this haul, the new How to Main Detour fragrances. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Until the next video, peace.